Hi everyone and welcome back to My Zone Active Kids where we actively invest in your future. My name is Marisol Stofberg. I'm Irene Marie van der Waal. And we are back for a brand new week. And as you guys can see, our screen has something different. So this week, our theme is kind of something along the lines of facing your fears. And today, it's all about the scary dark woods. And they might be scary, but together we can do anything if we just believe. And of course, it is Monday, meaning that we have story time again. And Irene, also we have... Um, every single day of the week they can catch us, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday at 9 o'clock on the MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages. And of course at 10 o'clock on One Up To Television. And we need to thank our friends at Innovation so much for our cool bean bags. So if you need anything for your party, please send an email to info at kickstartnam.com. So of course we need to sing a song. And the song that I think we should sing today is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Because it's dark in the woods, um, and when it's dark, you can see the stars. So that is the plus side of the dark. So whenever you are alone somewhere where it's really dark, then you can sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, because you know that if it's dark, then you get to see stars. So there's always something good out of the bad. So are you ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. But now it is time for story time, so let's head over to Zoe and Zaki to see what they are up to. Enjoy! My name is Zoe. And my name is Zaki. And welcome back to Story Time. Woo! Zaki, do you want to hear the story of Rina the reindeer? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so Rina the reindeer lived in a forest. And 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 Rina would 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 um 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 she's a bit scared of the dark. So oh. she would only be outside when it was the sun was shining, but when it started to get dark, Rina would always hide in one of the bushes with where her family also stays in the forest, right? Mm -hmm. But one day her mom went out to go visit her grandma all the way on the other side of the forest. And then um she um and they didn't come home. So it started to get a bit dark. And she knew that, Rina knew that she needed to help her mom. Because something must have gone wrong. Mm -hmm. So Rina knew she had to be a very big girl. Put on her big reindeer earrings. And then she had to go all the way to her grandma's place on the other side of the forest. Mm -hmm. So what she did was, she packed her little bag with like something to eat. Because it's very far. And she started walking. While she was walking in the forest, she heard a very funny sound. Something that went like, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. And it was very scary because it was dark. Exactly, it was like the darkest oh. ever. And Rina wanted to cry. And then she remembered her mom always told her that whenever she, she gets scared, she needs to count to one, two, three. Take a deep breath. And then try and figure out what's making this sound. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to figure this out because I'm a smart reindeer. Mm -hmm. And when she looked to the right, she saw in the tree, up, up, up in the tree, was a snowy white owl. And it was the owl making the hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo sound. And when she was, she was a bit scared, but then she knew. Why should she be scared? Because there's someone there with her. She's not alone. So then Rina walked. And while Rina was walking, she heard like something that was breaking twigs. That's scary. That and she, scary. and just when she wanted to get scared, she took a deep breath and she counted one, two, three. And when she turned around, it was a tiny bunny that was following her. Aww. Yeah, and then she knew she really wasn't alone. And then the third time she was walking and she was walking and then she heard a very funny sound that went shh. And she and the bunny and the owl were all very scared of the sound. But you know what it was? 
What was it? What was it? The wind. It was just <gasps> the wind blowing through the trees. And, and, and then Rina realized that sometimes things look a bit scary, but if you just breathe and you take three counts, you're able to be figure, you'll be able to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. And that's a very important lesson that Rina the reindeer teaches us. Uh -huh. But now it's time for us to first go do our homework and then we'll be back to tell our friends all about the woods. Bye! Bye. Bye. Time myself, wasn't it, it was, it was the best. Marisol, I have a question for you. Yeah. Who are the coolest people we know? Zoe and Zaki. Right? I love that you instinctively know that. We don't even need to think about it, we just know. So, we are going to go back to Zoe and Zaki now for lots of fun. Yay! Enjoy! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Zoe, do you hear that? Hear what? That sound. I hear trees and wind and leaves and things walking. Saki, look, our friends are here and they make me feel braver already. I'm Zoe and I am afraid of dark woods. I'm Zaki and I'm afraid of cold woods. And we are Brian niece and nephew. nephew. We missed you guys so much, like super much, like a lot. We are so excited that you guys are back. Zaki, this week is all about facing our fears and today is about scary woods. Woods are really, really scary. Do you remember the time when we went camping? I remember. That was so scary at first. But when we realized that something, um, that sometimes our imagination makes things so much worse. Zaki, Zaki and I went camping with a few of our friends on a school trip. We camped in this big forest. And during the day was so cool and light and full of amazing things. But when it gets dark, it becomes really scary. We were all on our way to do a treasure hunt in the dark. While we were walking, I heard the scariest sound. It was this whoo hoo 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 sound. It sounded just like a ghost. A ghost? No way. Like a real ghost? Like a real ghost. I was so scared. I could almost feel the ghost, but I decided I needed to be brave and wanted to catch the ghost just as it was behind me. I counted one, two, three, and jumped around, but there was nothing. Nothing? Like really nothing? Nothing! I then realized it wasn't a ghost at all. It was the wind. I felt really sorry for being scared. Who's scared of the wind? I remember while we were walking, I saw these big yellow eyes staring at me. I was so scared, I dropped my juice and got juice all over my feet. Eyes? In the woods? That's super scary. I would have cried. What was it? A bear? A dinosaur? A boogeyman? It was a friendly dog. He heard us walking and wanted to join us. And he was scared that we would chase him away. We named him Derek the dog and he was the cutest puppy ever. I love puppies. I remember how scared I was when we were walking in the woods. I could hear the leaves crunch behind me like someone was following me. It got louder and louder and louder and suddenly it was right behind me. Ah! I yelled so loud that my friend Ziggy also started screaming and I maybe cried a bit. What was behind you? A wolf or a lion or a big elephant? No, it was just a bunny. Just a small little bunny. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You cried because of a bunny? Stop laughing. Do you remember the hoo-hoo in the woods? Stop. We promised we wouldn't say anything. You need to tell our friends that was so funny. Okay, fine. I heard someone say hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo the whole time as we were walking. I thought it was somebody asking me who was walking in the woods. Every time I heard a hoo-hoo, I answered Z Zaki. After like 20 times, I realized it wasn't a, pers a person asking at all. It was an owl. <laughs> That's funny. 
So actually, the woods aren't that scary at all. Sometimes we just get, when we get scared, we tend to think horrible things. When you get scared in the woods, just remember to breathe. We also have a super fun song you can sing when you're walking in the woods. Get, get ready. ready, friends. And, and a one, one, and a two, and a, two, and a one, one, two, three. three. Walking in the woods, walking in the woods, we're not afraid, we're not afraid. Walking in the woods, walking in the woods, we're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop, look, what's that? It's a deer. We're not afraid, stomping in the woods, stomping in the woods. We're not afraid, we're not afraid, stomping in the woods, stomping in the woods. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop, listen, what's that? It's an owl, we're not afraid. Jumping in the woods, jumping in the woods. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. Jumping in the woods, jumping in the woods. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop, look, what's that? It's a rabbit, yay! That was such a fun song, Zaki. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. And today I learned that woods are usually magical places. They have all these different animals and flowers and trees. When you look past the very scary part, you realize that everything will be okay. Saki, can you tell us our fun fact again? Okay. Did you know that more than 300 million people live in the forest? And they aren't scared at all. So if they can do it, then we can too. Wow, that's so cool. Friends, remember that the dog sometimes makes things look super scary. But actually, that funny noise is just a friendly rabbit. That is so true, Zoe, but that's from us for today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Irina, didn't you have fun with Zoe and Zaki today? But the cool thing is on Active Kids, not just one person or one puppet gets to have fun. We all get to have fun. So for our Active Activity Day, it's again time for a brain game. So we need to keep our brains nice and moving. And today we're going to think of, since our theme is scary woods, we're going to think of all the things you get in the woods that might be scary, but then you need to make the sound that they make. But the important thing is, then you also need to tell our friends why they are not scary. So what the thing that you can think of when you're in the woods and you hear something scary and you actually see what it is and you know you don't have to be scared anymore. Okay, so since you're my guest, you can go first. Uh, I only make the sound, right? You say the thing, you make the sound, and then you say why it's not scary. Okay, so the wind is going to sound like... And it may seem scary because you don't always know what it is and sometimes the wind moves things around and it looks scary. But it's not because it's just air. It's true. It's just air. And wind can't hurt you. It makes you, it cools you off. So your hair can flip, blow in the wind like a movie star. Okay, the thing I can think of is something that goes, ooh, 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 and that's an owl. And when you're in the woods, you might just see the little eyes glowing, and that might look really scary. But it's just an owl. And owls are very smart. They're very wise animals. And they, 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 they are very, very kind. Just like the owl in Winnie the Pooh. He's kind and smart. And that is what you should think of. If you hear, hoo, hoo, you say, me, me. And then it's fine. Everything <laughs> is okay. <laughs> Next. Um, I think twigs. Okay. There's a little bit of a cracking sound mm -hmm. when they break. Um, again, it's just a piece of wood, but be careful because they can be sharp and they can hurt you. So wear proper shoes when you go out in the forest. Not that we have forests in Namibia, but it's just wood and it can be scary because it can mean that there's something else moving there. But then you know something else is moving. So it's kind of a warning sign. Yeah, but it's not always something bad. Sometimes it's somebody coming to you to help you. Exactly. 
Okay, if I can think of something you can find in the woods, it would be uh, glowing little eyes in the bush. And then you hear the bush go, shh, 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 shh. and then actually it's just a bunny in the woods. That's just like, hoo -hoo, and then hop, hop, hop. I don't know what sound a bunny makes. There can be a rat as well. Um, but this is a big fluffy bunny. And bunnies are not scared at all. Scary at all. Bunnies can never be scary. I have a theory. They can never be scary no matter what you do. Unless you give them a strawberry to eat. That might be a bit scary. But it's okay because it's just a bunny. Bunnies are cute. Bunnies are really cute. Hmm. What else is there in the forest? Um, I think the leaves mm -hmm. rustling, can, mm -hmm. like, especially if you're walking and suddenly they start rustling, it can be scary. Uh, but usually it's probably just a bird in the trees. So. Yeah, just a birdie. Tweet, 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 tweet. And the last one is, in the woods you can also get um, something that goes like And that can be a snake. And that can be scary because snakes can be poisonous. But this is Mr. Simon's snake. And Simon is the, is the happiest snake you'll ever meet in your whole life. And he is not there to hurt you unless you hurt him first. So don't hurt the snakes, boys and girls. Don't hurt the snakes. Don't and step that's on it. snakes either. Yeah, don't step on snakes. But now so we're going to go think of a bunch of other things. But you need to go to your online school lesson. So get ready uh, for the first lesson for this beautiful week. Enjoy. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade 3. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. everyone and welcome to my zone online school my name is tita mozza and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is water and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we need to sanitize so let's take our sanitizer and we rub inside our hands around our hands in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing reading, capacity, and uses of water. For our lesson now, boys and girls, let us all start on page 17. On page 17, we are going to be talking about the different pictures we can see. Now, water, boys and girls, can be found in the places that we can see there. The first picture that we can see has water flowing down. The second picture that we can see, we can't see the water, but inside there is water. So, we are going to name these things as we go along. Let us not just name them, but match with wow. So, let's take a look at the board. The first thing that you can see is the water of running down that mountain. Now, this water is called a river. A river. So, 
we have a river. Now the word river is right here. So it's going to be our job to match it to the picture. So I'm going to take my pencil and I will draw a line from the name river to the picture of the river. The next one we have is a well. Now the well has water inside it. So we have to match the picture of the well to the name. This is the name well. So we're going to draw our line from the name well to the picture of the well. The next one is called a dam. So you are going to look for the word dam and match it. Then we have rain. That one we know very well because rain is something we all have seen. So you're going to look for the word rain and match the picture. The last one is the word water. So you have to do these three, one, two, three, by yourselves. Now let's move on to the next page, page 18. On page 18, we are going to be doing some picture coloring. This time, we are going to color two glasses with a blue crayon so that we can show that the glasses are full. But before we do that, I want us to see what full looks like what empty looks like and what half looks like. So let's take a look at the board. When we say that a glass is full, we are saying that from the top of the glass, going all the way down, it is water. So to show that it is full, you have to color, just like how I am coloring. Take your time and color inside the lines. So. This glass is full. If you color only half, then that means the glass is not full. So do not color the half. Then if there's nothing inside, that means it is empty. What they want you to do is color two glasses full. So don't forget to use a blue crayon to show full and not empty or half. Then when you're done with that one, we have interesting pictures waiting for you on page 19. On page 19, it's going to be our last job to read the picture in cards so that you can act them out. Now each picture is showing water being used. And it's going to be our job to act out the different ways water is being used. Let's do the first one with the little boy. You can see it says, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Very good. So let's all pretend we are washing our hands. Remember to wash our hands, we need soap and then we need water. So you put soap first, pretend like you're washing your hands, you put soap first, very good, and then now you open the tap, good job, and you let the water rinse your hands. Well done. The rest of them I'm sure you can do by yourself with an adult. Ask them to read it for you if you don't know what it means. And then you can take turns acting out the different ways people use water. So have fun boys and girls. Take your time with all three exercises and I'll see you when we're done after the advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi.
Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if you're not sure what to do, you can always ask an adult for help, but try and finish all your work by yourself. So now that we are done, it is time to sanitize. So we take some sanitizer and we rub inside and all around our hand. We sanitize to make sure that we are staying safe and far away from any germs that can harm us. So sanitize as often as you can. I wonder where Sashi is. I have not seen him the whole day. Oh, there he is. Hello, Sashi. So from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation. Hi, beautiful people. So that brings us to the end of our show for today. I had so much fun with the online school lesson. I had fun with my friend Irina. And I also had fun with Zoe and Zaki with all of their lovely stories. But now, unfortunately, we need to say bye to our day of the woods. But we'll see you guys again tomorrow for more fun and for arts and crafts. So let's say bye.